Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I just wanted to give you, an, you know, the first update on an ongoing uh, review that I'm doing because I'm going to have to use this product a couple different times in a couple different scenarios. But I used it this past weekend at, uh, you know, I didn't go to Blade Show. I went to uh, Boy Scout camp with my son instead. And this was my first time to actually get a chance to use this thing. And let me tell you something. I'm just going to cut right to it. I don't want to hear any stuff about those oh, too expensive. What I want to hear is, thank you, sir, for letting us know. I will start saving my money immediately. Thank you. Okay, it's come to my attention that sometimes my style of humor kind of goes over people's heads, so I'm joking. Okay. But it really is something that good. It's kind of like when you've been using $50 knives for all this time and you're like, ah, oh, this is good enough, and then you get your hands on that first $300 3V knife, and you're like, holy crap, what have I been missing out on? So a lot of people were interested in this when I showed just kind of like a teaser on the Sierra Designs uh, Backcountry Bivy video, and that is the Sierra Designs Backcountry Bed, the sleeping bag portion. Now, if you saw that video, you'll know why I said I'm going to have to use this a couple different times. But, spoiler alert, just using it as a sleeping bag was like the greatest experience of my life. You know, it's better than that first time you kiss a girl in junior high or the first... No, it was good. It was, <laughs> and I'm just kind of going overboard with it. But yeah, bottom line... This thing is freaking awesome. So if you want to find out why, don't go away. Now I'm gonna do like I did in that other video uh, which that I did that as kind of like the teaser to this, but for people wanting product information, uh, it, they did a couple really short videos on the different stuff. So I want to go ahead and throw that in here now first, let you see it because then you'll see all the details and much more professional than my dumbass can do. And then I'll break it out and give it to you straight as far as what I experienced with it. So this is what this thing is all about and what makes it different from a normal sleeping bag. I think the first thing you notice about the backcountry bed is it's completely different from anything you've ever seen before. What makes the backcountry bed really unique is there's no zippers, there's no toggles, there's no Velcro cords, any of that kind of stuff. We like to think of it as, as just pure comfort. When you think of traditional sleeping bags, uh, I think we're all very familiar with the fact that they're not very comfortable. They're restrictive, um, kind of claustrophobic. So we wanted to give you um, a different option, something that we really feel can replace the traditional mummy sleeping bag. So here's how the backcountry bed works. You'll notice uh, on the backside, there's a pad sleeve. And that's really important because that really creates the mattress or the bed-like structure of the backcountry bed. So the idea is that that stays put when the rest of the bag can move around. And then this big comforter is really what makes it feel like your bed at home. On warm nights, you can simply leave the comforter on the outside of the bag. On cold nights, the comforter and your head can be tucked inside what we call the hook, which is basically the circular opening. One of the unique features that we added to the backcountry bed was this uh, zipperless foot vent. We call it a hands-free foot vent. So basically what it is, it's an overlapping down baffle system. Raise your knee inside the bag, slip your foot out the bottom of the bag for venting, and then when it gets chilly, you can simply pull it back in and it naturally seals itself closed and draft free. You'll see what we added was hand pockets and what we call arm sleeves. And what, what this does is it allows you to position the, the quilt where you want to, so it makes it easy to, to tuck in. But it also provides insulation under your arm when you're using the quilt on the ex exterior of the bag. The quilt on the backcountry bed is integrated into the sleeping bag, so that allows you to pull it out to untuck it, but it doesn't come too far. It sort of functions like a shoe tongue. So when you go to tuck this in, the bottom portion of the quilt follows so that you don't have any kind of draft issues. 
Think of all those uncomfortable nights you've had in that traditional mummy sleeping bag. The backcountry bed is a better solution. It's more comfortable. It lets you sleep how you want, whether it's on your back, your side, or your stomach. Replace that traditional sleeping bag with the backcountry bed. So before I move the camera over here and show it, I just laid it out here. The analogy that I made at the beginning of the video where I said uh, it's kind of like when you're used to, you know, you're using Mora's and you're like, Mora's are great, Mora's are fine. I can do everything with my Mora that you can do with your expensive knife. That analogy, it, it is very much like that. I've got a bunch of sleeping bags. I've got MMSS sleep systems, I've got mommy bags, I've got the big uh, super insulated sportsman's guide bags. I got a bunch of different bags. But this made me understand why people get the expensive stuff. Now this is about a $200 sleeping bag. If you don't need it, you don't need it. It's okay, it's all right. It's okay, it's okay. But for people that spend a lot of time camping, this will make it more enjoyable. Now, when we when I slept in this, it was basically here. I'll go ahead and move it. It was in a tent because I was testing out this uh, snug pack tent that I got on a double air mattress because you know I was with my son. But I think that this would also be see the stupid light is killing me. I think this is gonna really shine next time I go out and I sleep in a hammock because this design that you saw in the video where there's no zippers and it's basically just like the quilt is part of the system and you've got all this room to move around and you've got the armholes and stuff like this this was like the first sleeping bag that isn't much bigger than a mummy bag but the difference is I can move around in it I could get comfortable I could move around like I do at home, sleeping in all these different positions, staying covered up and warm without getting all twisted or not. Because you know what I'm talking about. When you're in a mummy bag or something like that, moving around, twisting around, it's it, it's a nightmare. It's a freaking nightmare. Then you gotta then all of a sudden the zipper side's facing down and you're not lined up right and you're like, God damn, I don't want to kill myself. Why am I in this thing? <laughs> but with this and the way they designed this just no matter which way I laid I was perfectly freaking comfortable and this is the 35 so it got down to about 60 so it was this was it was like the perfect absolute perfect weather to test this in it wasn't too hot wasn't too cold it was just right but you wouldn't think that this would be such a big deal but that part they told they showed you in the video where you can flip go underneath this lip here and stick your feet out to let your feet breathe oh my god that is awesome it is awesome everything about this is awesome so for those of you out there that don't have any problem buying bark rivers and you know, the expensive 3V knives and stuff like that. This is less than usually one of those. So, average, you know, 3V knife, we're talking, what, 250, 260? Depends. So this thing's about 200 bucks. And if you go camping, I mean, let me, let me put it to you this way. For this bag, I feel like I should make a different list. A list higher than the Jessica list. Does that say enough? Did I say how much I freaking like this bag? Uh, yeah, it's about as excited as I was in the uh, in that uh, Phobos knife video. It's just so freaking comfortable, and the kids fight over this too. You know, when <laughs> they're over at my house a couple of nights a week, and I've got a couple of these uh, King Camp cots that I haven't reviewed yet. They're, that sit low to the ground, and now that you know they. They both want to use a sleeping bag and sleep on the cot. It's like, it's a problem. If you stop at one kid, you'll never have to have them fight over them wanting the same thing. 
but if you're just a, if you're just a camper on a budget you go out every once in a while you know you live paycheck to paycheck I understand if this isn't your thing As a matter of fact for those people I have a second sleeping bag which will be the next sleeping bag that I review which is going to be about in the same temperature range same thickness uh, same packable size but it's 35 bucks it ain't the same thing as this though I tell you, it's traditional zip up and it has mosquito netting and all that stuff but uh, so it's, you're not going to get the same comfort that you get with this but it'll keep you warm and pack down about the same so you know options right now I'm going to show you something premium and then I'm going to show you something budget but that thing right there that sleeping bag is freaking awesome and that's anyone that says otherwise you're wrong you are wrong I'm just letting you know that you're wrong so now you can go correct yourself so it'll be it'll be interesting come fall when I can see uh, how far down in temperature I can get away with with this bag um, because putting it in the, the second part the bivy is going to add to the temperature rating a little bit and then I used it on top of the large air mattress so I didn't even use the single air mattress because it's got that sleeve on the back to make it all one so the complete system would be that bag with an air mat tucked in the back and then inserted into the Sierra Designs bivy. So there's a lot of different ways that I can use this and I've only used it one way thus far. I think the, obviously I think the next thing that I'm going to use this for is sleeping in a hammock. Because something just tells me that this is like the answer. This is the answer to sleeping comfortably in a light sleeping bag in a hammock because you can move around. I mean, I, I just know it. It's that's going to be the answer. It's like going to make sleeping in a hammock that much more freaking enjoyable. So, yeah, if you want to call this a review, fine. Uh, if you want to call it a partial review, that's fine too, because it's gonna it's something that's going to take multiple trips in order to use it in every conceivable uh, situation and configuration that this thing is good for. But man, I'm glad I, I'm glad that I found this. Um, I did get it for review. I bought the bivy, and because I bought the bivy, that's how I found out about the backcountry bed. And I would, I would pay for this myself. Absolutely would. Um, I might have to see like. I don't think I got the warmest one. I think there's a couple different ones, and I got the one. I needed a lighter bag, so I don't know. You might see. <laughs> might see more of these but there was a lot of people there was a lot of people that were very interested in this from the comments in the previous video I'm here to say having slept in it one night you know I still wake up several times a night when I'm camping but I'm like oh my god this is great no matter which way I roll around I'm comfortable I'm not all twisted up I mean that, that thing is the bomb put it that way so <laughs> okay so that's the first part. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's not like an action-packed thing. It's like, yes, I did actually go camping. Yes, I did actually use it. It's really hard to do videos at, with a bunch of Boy Scouts running around screaming. Although, <laughs> although I did get some nighttime shots with the uh, the uh, Olight X9R when I was there. <laughs> People were saying, I thought a UFO was landing in the freaking ravine. It's that big giant Olight. I only get to borrow it. I don't get to keep this one because it's like $500 or something crazy. But yeah, let's talk about fun. It's fun. So there you go. Uh, you, everyone kept, sat, kept asking me, what do you think of this thing? I think it's awesome. I think it's freaking awesome. So Chris from Prepare My 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'll find links to this. Uh, on online, I don't know if Amazon sells them or not, honestly. Uh, but I'll find some. I'll, I'll try to find the best price links for this, and I'll put them in the description box below if you're interested. And if you didn't see the previous video, which was the Sierra Designs Backcountry Bivy, which is the outer part, uh, definitely check that out as well. 
Uh, be sure to click like, share, and subscribe and all the links that help support the channel because I don't do Patreon or anything like that. All the links that support the channel are in the description box below. All right, guys, I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then.